Lagos, like other high institutions in Nigeria, has been on lockdown because of the COVID-19. But last week, the university got on the bad side of news headlines of allegations of corruption in its leadership. Plus, TV Africa's Mary Chinda visited the institution to bring us this report. The University of Lagos, which prides itself as the university of first choice, has been engulfed in a leadership crisis. Tension mounts in this atmosphere following the removal of its three-year-old vice-chancellor, Professor Oluwatoyin Ogundikbe, over financial misappropriation worth over 100 million naira and an acting VC has been installed. We wait frantically to speak with this new vice chancellor at the Senate House where security won't let us in. Then to his private office where media is turned back. Now, media men uh, have actually been hanging out here from the Senate building where we spent over an hour waiting and hoping to have audience with the new vice chancellor. However, um, the vice chancellor actually sent his media aide to tell the media that he would be unable to speak with the media, at least in the immediate. Meanwhile, at the ASU office, the news of the appointment of the new VC is greeted with content. So our argument is we are not saying that the vice chancellor had committed the offense or not. What we are saying is establish the veracity of the allegations so that justice will not only be done, but it will be seen done. He describes the act as not only an unconstitutional one, but a deliberate attempt to rubbish the image of public universities across the country. The strategy is to successfully discredit public universities as corrupt, as a place of maladministration, as a place where internal processes are weak, and because of that, government should privatize. That has been what... Wali Babalaki had been advocating. The pro-chancellor, Wali Babalaki, who is also in the center of this crisis, is unavailable to speak to the media. However, member governing council of the university, Dr. Bola, provides an insight into the circumstances leading to the removal of the former VC. It is not true uh, that, that um, it is a personal vendetta between, between him and Dr. Bobalaki, he did not deny that he gave uh, Professor um, Ademola Adeleke uh, the sum of uh, 2.4 million on, an, in, on a monthly basis. He called it security votes. I know that governors are meant to have security, security votes. I don't know that vice chancellors are allowed to have secret security votes. According to him, the vice chancellor's removal is not only pertinent, but it is a necessary step to read Unilag of corrupt leadership. We did not do anything illegal. We acted thoughtfully, we acted responsibly, and we proceeded very carefully. Uh, it will be the height of irresponsibility to remove the head of the university and to not replace him because the act says that you need the say-so of a Senate that is not sitting. With weeks of upcoming legal battles, whoever emerges, or better still, whoever remains the vice chancellor of this university would have to take the decisions from this engine room. From the University of Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. The university. To give us a live update is our correspondent Jacinta Obiku, who is currently at the University of Lagos. Tell us what the situation right now is on campus, because we hear that the new VC is uh, addressing the press. Good morning. Okay, so we got here. We, are, we got a call that the new appointed vice chancellor, Professor. Uh, Theophilus Shoyombo will be addressing the public for the first time and we've been here for like um, an hour now. For getting here, uh, we got to know some group of people uh, in the presence of um, Nassau. We saw some of them gathered, but it was not as big.
big as we can see now. They are still coming in as, um, um, as I'm actually told, they are still coming in to support or welcome uh, the new appointed vice chancellor. Okay, well, what would you say the mood is like around the campus? You know, have you met with students? Have you interacted with anyone around uh, the campus um, who has um, some things to share? Is there any excitement or anything? Uh, yeah, it looks very, uh, like, it looks like they, they are really happy and um, eager to welcome the new vice chancellor. I'm speaking of um, the, the NASU, comprising as well, uh, comprising of um, Sanu and as well Nat. I recall that the last, like last week Thursday, there was uh, a protest here saying that it's, uh, yeah, it's the comprising of uh, Atu, Sanu and Nat that they are against the removal of the vice chancellor. But I, um, I'm, I'm told here that they, they were not part of it. I'm speaking of Nasu, Nat and Sanud. They said they were not part of it, that they are in support of the new, new um, uh, appointed vice chancellor. And they are here, happily here, to welcome him as he arrives and all that. But the student, I've not seen any student around here because I'm. I'm presently at the Senate building, yeah. Okay, and so, you know, like you've said, you know, there's, uh, you're still expecting that others would uh, arrive. Uh, are there any faces that you can see there from any of these bodies or from any of these departments that you've uh, uh, spoken with uh, in, the, in the time being? Yeah, I, I said the NASU members that are here, lots of them are here now, they were not this big, they were not this much when I got here, at the time I got here, but most of them are still arriving and I've spoken to some of them. They said, yes, they're happy. They don't want the whole disagreement anymore. They want this and they are willing to welcome the new vice chancellor. Okay. If, if, if you, um, it would be great if we could have a conversation with them before you know, um, all this uh, blows up. Um, I would love to know if okay. it seems like um, the um, bodies are divided, you know, Asu and Sanu and the rest, because I remember that the Asu chairman had said that they would resist the uh, changing of the VC, and of course they are fully behind the previous VC um, in that position. So does it seem like there is a division in, in, you know, in, in the whole ranks? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it could. It, it actually looks like it because uh, the last time, the last time the protest was on, it was we were told that it was the governing, the council union of the university that was uh, putting up the protest uh, and refusal of the removal of the vice chancellor, Professor Luato Yogundi. But today, I'm I'm meant to uh, understand that. Um, they are not Nasu, Natsanu are not in support. They didn't join them. They are they are here to welcome the vice chancellor. And I'm walking towards uh, towards a member of um, uh, Nasu to possibly say something as regards to that. Sir, please can you talk? Oh, okay, okay. He, he doesn't want to talk. Okay. But the idea is that it, it looks like it's, it's divided. Okay. Between Nasu, Sanu, and Nat, and uh, Asu, right? It looks like Asu is in support of the the embattled vice chancellor in the person of Professor right. Uluwato Yungundukbe, while Nasu, Nat, and Sanu are in support of the new vice chancellor. All right. Um, stay there, of course, hang in there, and uh, we will definitely be connecting with you again. All right. Thank, Thank you, you very much.